Hello, I'm Corey, and today is day 15 of my 100-day project, and my version, which is 6 by 6 and 6. And I'm going to first off apologize. I haven't made anywhere near 6 minutes yet, but I am determined to make it happen. I can take a 2-minute project and make it and ramble on until it's a 20-minute video. So I'm not going to do that today. I apologize. Um, what we're going to do today is make paper clip charms. And... I've made them for my junk journals in the past, and I really like them. They're great for planners or junk journals. Um, maybe not so much scrapbook pages, but I guess it would be kind of cute. But um, you can use them however you like. They're just a way of taking and wrapping a paper clip with scraps of paper. And I'm sure somebody somewhere has seen uh, has done it a video on it, and I just haven't seen it. But I've seen them places, and so this is not an original idea to me. All right, paper clips. They come in a bunch of different sizes. This one is about three inches, which is 7.6 centimeters. It's really big, and that's this one here. So I would use that maybe for a larger book. Um, and then the jumbo size paper clip, which is about two inches or 5.2 centimeters. And these are the ones most of us seem to use the most often, even though they're called jumbo sized. Now with this one, I'm going to show you three different kinds here. I'm going to come up really close. Some of them, I don't know if you can see it here, they're wrapped in like a plastic and they have colored ones as well. And they work just fine, but they're, they don't seem to be quite as sturdy. They're, so they're not my first choice. And then they've got these ones with little bit little bits of serration in the metal or serrated pieces in the metal. And I guess that's to hold onto the, you know, your paper a little bit tighter. Maybe that just makes your, your hold. And those work just fine too. But these are just your standard cheap dollar store, wherever office supply paper clips. And that's generally what I use. They slide a little bit easier. So maybe it slides too much for, um, you know, for paper projects, but for a paper clip like this, it works just great. So that's what I'm going to be using today. The standard, um, I'm sorry, the jumbo two inch size. And then there's the little itty bitties. And those are the ones that, you know, but I don't know, I guess are called standard size and they're an inch and a quarter. And they also work fine. If I were going to use a, a mini journal or a little project, I would use this. But for today's project, we are going to use the jumbo size, which is two inches. And all you need to do this project, and I mean, I'm not even going to pull out all my supplies, is you're going to need a wet glue. You don't have to use a clip, but I do because I find it works a little bit better. You need a scrap of paper. And if you're going to put charms on, you need whatever kind of charm you're going to do. And then I hold them on to the eyelets on the jump on the um, albums with a jump ring. No, with a bulb pin. Thank you. With a bulb pin, but you can use whatever you want. You can even tie them up. So the measurements for the paper for this size, the jumbo paper clip, are an inch and a half by about two inches. And your inch and a half is going to be your length. I've tried different sizes and I like the amount of, um, this one is a one inch. So you can see this one has a lot of loop at the top and the bottom. And these are um, the one and a half inch paper size, or let's see, one and a half is 3.8. It just gives you the right amount of loop at the bottom and the right amount of loop at the top, as far as I'm concerned. All right. So you want your one and a half inch length to be if you're going with directional, like if I were doing music paper, I would want my one and a half inch to be the length. So I want one and a half inch length. And the two is the wrap, what you're going to wrap around. And it's an approximate. You can have more, you can have less. In fact, if I were using um, uh, double-sided paper or heavier paper, I cut it to a little bit less than two inches because it gets bulky fast. And I'll show you that in a second. When I'm using a single-sided paper, which this is great for, I use about two inches. Two couple things. This one, okay, here you can see. I don't know how well you can see the difference. This is, this is a double-sided paper, and so I wrapped it a little bit less. And this is a single-sided paper, so I wrapped it a little bit more. If you wrap the double-sided paper, this one's double-sided. It just gives it a, a thicker look or feel than the single-sided paper. If you want to ink it, you certainly can. Um, and so I just prefer the single-sided paper. But either, either one will work. Also, Mod Podge. Um, let's see if I can get these up here. So these are just old book page, and I have covered these two with Mod Podge and this with not, and these are a matte Mod Podge. It kind of 
smooshes my paper together a little bit more and gives it a sturdier feel than if it's not. But I really don't, just to physically look at it, I don't see much difference. So if you have a preference, go for it. But I generally tend to cover them because it makes them a little bit sturdier. Not a requirement in the least. All right, the other thing that I do, so I've got my paper. My one and a half inch side or my 5.2 centimeter side is going to be the side that I wrap. I start it just by scoring it and you don't have to, it's not necessary. I simply do it because um, it, I find it easier to fold it straight. And I, I scored it about a quarter of an inch from the end, roughly a quarter of an inch. And again, not required, it just allows me to fold it straight. Then with the edge that I'm going to wrap, I come in and I just trim a little bit of the edge. It um, allows me to lay it down flat and not worry about those edges poking out if I go a little bit off. Then, oh, I didn't ink the edges on this one and I really don't like white edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly ink the edges. Okay, ink. Then I take my paper clip and it, when you look at these once they're wrapped, the side that has the double wrap, the top loop is just a little bit tighter than the, the bottom loop. I guess that's not even a great way to say it. The loop, that has um, the part that you clip onto paper, that loop is a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter than the other loop. And so when I'm using these, I generally try to make the smaller loop the top and the larger loop the bottom, but you have to actually look to see that so it doesn't make much difference. So I put my score line in it, I'm folding it over, and I'm. this is where I use the clamp the first time. I find it holds much better if I clamp this for just a moment. Personal preference, you don't have to clamp it, you can hold it, but um, I like it when it's clamped. And while I'm doing that, I'll show you. So you can do anything you want with these. Like this one's got three little charms on the end. And again, these are all the, the two inch paper clips. So I'm gonna use this one for my sister's Disney book. It's got three little Disney related charms on the end. Uh, you can use two charms if you want to. Um, you can, there was another Disney one here. You can use, oh, this little guy fell off. I didn't make it tight enough. You can use one charm and put a little, um, actually this isn't even a charm, this is a little bead deal. So I just put, um, obviously I need to rehang that, but you can just put a little bead at the bottom. Um, these, any kind of charms you want. This particular one, I'm using paper, paper clip. I used a larger charm here on purpose so you can see it still works just fine. It holds it just no problem. This one, um, I did two different charms that coordinate with the Bible page that's on this. And then this one, I used one of those straight pins and, with the loop at the end. And so I put some beads and then I put a charm, like the dreaming of a genie kind of a thing. So you have some flexibility with how you decorate the ends too, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so I'm gonna remove my clamp and I'm gonna roll this, and I generally tend to roll it tight. I pull as I'm rolling, and that's it. Then I'm gonna glue it down at the end. Make sure I put glue, I don't know how if you can see that because the big old glue bottle there. I'm gonna put glue all over that and smush it down. And again, I'm gonna use my clamp because I like the way it works better. And then my paper clip is done. Um, this is where you come in with your jewelry pieces and are your, your jump rings and your charms and you, you put them on the end and then you put your um, bulb pin or whatever you can use as a closure at top and your dangles are done. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope this inspired you to try something new. Bye for now.